chairman and distinguished panel of speakers and my friends. Uh, it is a very great uh, occasion for us that when we in Delhi, we thought the Asokda is no more. We knew that there are lots of large number of his friends and, and that uh, in the in different aspects of uh, life. So naturally, it was it will be a fitting things to come together and think loudly about what legacy he left behind us. As you heard in his own writing that when I will not be, be there, some people will come and uh, probably make a small um, condolence meeting. But I'll request them not to give speeches, but sing Ravindra Sangeet. He himself wrote just a few months before his death. So, you know, we are also not uh, going to discuss much on this. A part of his life and his growth of his life, Paranjaya explained before you, a short uh, biography. And others, uh, speakers also, they have given their um, insight in his, uh, in the Asogda's uh, life. I had not, uh, you know, as I saw Asogda, you know, all through, as many of our countries, people look at, then he was the intellectual of highest order. We know intellectual, there are many intellectuals up there. But also the hated intellectuals who are hypocrite, who are hypocrites. Many intellectuals are there for their own narrow interest. They change their opinion, they change the side, they join different uh, forces for uh, gaining something. But he was the person who would hate to do such things. Because of that he said, I am not a gentleman, I am a communist. So this attitude and this determination, in his, up to his last days, he remained faithful to his commitment to Marxism. He was a minister in West Bengal. I have that time only for three years. I have very close relation. I was also working with one minister in the Writers Building. And every day almost we mm, met him and get some and he will every day ask, what is happening, what is your village things, what is your area, jute mill workers, what happened. He will uh, particularly uh, get information about the uh, rural people, how they are living, what is the problem. So that is there. And, uh, and his in-depth capacity to analyze things, we have seen. We are student when we used to listen to his speeches in different places. And you know, he would write in Bengali and English both, as already have seen, uh, said, the Apela Chapila is the, uh, a peculiar name. You know, you cannot translate it, what it means. But that, every week, you would write that one piece on, in, on that name. They published it in a big uh, way. And almost every issue, individuals, lives, politics, social, uh, uh, issues, communal issues, DVC forces, national, international, every issue in every week he will take and he has explained it with a deep insight. That was a very, very uh, favorable uh, reading for the uh, people, uh, Bengali speaking people, or the, uh, in, we have seen that time. So that we have uh, noted, we have seen his uh, capacity to analyze things in different aspects, and also we could, we would be inspired by his um, guidance in his writings. And in English also we have seen EPW for a long time, Calcutta Diary for ages. He has written the Calcutta actual reality situation, development, deficiencies in every week uh, we will have, um, uh, we found that in that article. So this, those who keep in touch with all these uh, things, naturally they are his friends and uh, followers. They always 
they are and they wait for the next week what Ashok Das says. That is also very, very neat. And you know, he was minister. He took a lead, you know, center state relations. You know, one of the major political issue and economic uh, issue in, during his time, he was West minister, West, uh, West Bengal. And he actually, he is the architect of this debate, the economic uh, debate. Uh, between center and states and um, that conclave in Srinagar, he was one of the main um, person to in that idea floated and that battle was very, very important battle in the country, in the economic front between the central government who want to uh, capture everything and state government who are trying to get some out of that. Jito, Jyoti Bosu would say the state governments are glorified municipality. They have nothing to do. And everything is done and controlled by center. In that debate, Ashokda put his inputs and made the li debate lively in those days we have seen. So like that, we have uh, followed him in his time. And he was very uh, firm in his opinion. What we will say? I, I, I see one very, uh, very uh, thing is, I uh, you know what happened. One day he told me that I am going to Sirampur for a seminar. Anand, you come with me. Somebody will go, go with him in the villages. In the, so I went with him. And after that, he spoke and everything is a good meeting. When I coming, they are requesting you have to eat something. He would not eat anything with anyone. And these people came with him, came with Rasugulla and came with his, up to his car and in the op opened the um, door of the car and asked him, hey, take, Ashukda, take one rasagulla, one rasagulla. <laughs> he took four rasagulla and pasted it, put it in inside his pocket, happy? Then <laughs> we left the places <laughs> like that. All from the organizer also, I'll thank you all for the patience. Thank you.